ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. you guys so welcome to an episode of i don't give a shit news okay i don't give a shit honey i need a break from just all the serious news i need something silly and foolish so i'm like you know what this is the perfect opportunity to do a I don't give a shit news so who are we talking about today and i don't give a shit news we are talking about tokyo tony aka teriyaki tina honey if you guys do not know, I had posted a story yesterday on my Instagram page. Basically, Tokyo Tony is once again in her feelings because the Zeus Network has still not paid her, okay? So if you guys remember back in November is when all this drama started. She took to her Instagram live. She was crying tattoo tears and screaming about how she had to pay for her own promo and how she hasn't gotten a check. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I've been used to up for the last time. I was supposed to be hosting a party on Saturday night, Sunday. Oh, my heart is still the biggest thing of her life. Now I can't make it. I bust my ass for Zeus for two shows. I did my own hair, makeup, and clothes. I walked. I had no PR, no and no type of advertisement. And I can't get my check. Now the people are leaving Monday. By all means, subscribe to Zeus to Black China's channel. Thank you. All right, so you guys just saw that video. So now she's done an interview with Rolling Out Magazine. So once again, she's ranting and raving to them about how Zeus Network has not paid her. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what she had to say about the situation. Check this out. So Rolling Out recently sat down with her, and these are the questions that they asked her. They state, It's hard to believe that the network still hasn't paid you after doing some press surrounding the premiere of the show. What has been told to you? So Tony says, they screwed me over good. I can show you the text messages where they keep promising to pay and nothing. I also have their cease and desist letter from their network where they admitted they haven't paid me. They haven't paid me since last year. And now they're promoting a new show with Ray J. Are you serious? I'm pissed. So then they go on to ask her this. The network seems to be doing well with its new show with Jocelyn Hernandez and Ray J. Do you feel it has moved on to new talent instead of doing right by you and your show? Tony then says this. They gave me no advertisement whatsoever. If you go to their page and look, you'll see a bunch of posts of Jocelyn. They have now brought up everyone on Zeus Network except me. I'm not mad. Fuck that bitch. I made that weak ass company. So then after that, she decides to show the cease and desist letter that she received from Zeus. When I tell you, Zeus read her ass for the filth, honey, and I was here for it. So this is the legal letter that Zeus sent to Tokyo Tony, a.k.a. Teriyaki Tina, okay? So they say, Dear Miss Hunter, we are counsel to Zeus Networks LLC. We are writing you today, of course, because of your recent communication with and about our company in text messages and social media posts. In these texts and calls and social media posts, you attempted to extort... <laughs> this woman is trash. You attempted to extort payment from Zeus to which you were not entitled. You had discussed the theft of company intellectual property, the rights to a spinoff series of Tokyo Finding Love ASAP with other cast members, and you harassed and endangered the safety of... <laughs> I'm sorry, but this letter is funny, okay? 
You endangered the safety of the company officers. Zeus cannot permit this behavior to continue. If you do not immediately cease and desist, the company will exercise all rights it has under this agreement with you from terminating all rights to any future payments to which you may be entitled, to initiating legal action to recover damages incurred by Zeus and his officers. Then they go on to answer some of her questions. $50,000 payment? Question mark. Zeus employee, question mark. The crux of your complaint seems to be that Zeus is withholding from you payments of 50000 to which you claim to be entitled. The truth is that you are not entitled to any such payment under your agreement with the company. You also claim that you, you also, <laughs> you also claim to be a Zeus. <laughs> I'm sorry, this shit is funny as hell, you guys. You also claim to be a Zeus employee. You collaborated with Zeus on two brief series, and as such, you are an independent contractor. Under no circumstance can you claim to be a Zeus employee. Your posts have given the public the impression that the company is unprofessional and unethical. You have damaged you have damaged the company's reputation and brand for no reason other than to extort additional payments. In contrast, Zeus has always treated you professionally and as a partner, providing you the opportunity of a lifetime when no other net <laughs> They are reading her ass for the filth, honey. You hear me? They say, providing you the opportunity of a lifetime when no other network would have done so. In light of the results of your background check and negative image, <laughs> Since the beginning of your relationship with Zeus has gone above and beyond its legal obligations, housing you, providing rental cars, paying you advances to which you were not strictly entitled in order to ease your cash flow problem. <laughs> In order to ease your cash flow problems, Zeus has cut checks to you under your influencer agreement as defined below for approximately $71,000 and covered the following expenses. Housing expenses totaling approximately $16,000, car rental expenses of approximately $3,000, and flight costs approximately $3,500. This total is approximately $94,000 or nearly $100,000 as Zeus has stated to you. Honey, they are reading her ass. So now this is what they have to say about the future payments. They say if you do not breach your agreement with Zeus and if you do not damage the company, you are entitled to a future stream of payments from subscribers who sign up for Zeus services to watch your show and who remain Zeus subscribers, the annually annuity. The stream of payments do not correspond to $50,000 payments, which you invented out of a whole cloth, but it is a valuable right to future payments, which, however, Zeus is entitled to terminate if you do not cease and desist your behavior. Behavior. Then they send a part two of the letter is this. Obligation to support the Zeus brand. Your rights to any payment are linked to standard customary agreements, which very clearly prohibit your recent erratic and unprofessional behavior. The Zeus agreements for leading social media influencers dated June 4th, 2019 and September 17th, 2019. The influencer agreements and the appearance release dated June 24th, 2019 and September 17, 2019. The appearance releases with the influencer agreements. Under the influencer agreement, you agree to provide marketing support through social media channels and otherwise for ongoing success for the ongoing success of the company. Under the appearance and release, you agreed that Zeus could take legal action to prevent you from harming them in the future if the company, including its officers, suffered any damages, including to reputation or brand, that you would release, defend, edemify, and hold the company, including its officers, harmless for any such damages. In plain language, you are violating your agreement. This behavior gives Zeus the right to terminate your agreement, including your rights to any subscriber annuity and to seek damages from you. Then they go on to talk about the spinoff. 
We suspect that you were not serious when you contacted various cast members about a potential spinoff show and that this conduct was simply a part of your pattern of extortion. <laughs> if you were serious, we remind you that under the influencer agreement, you assigned to Zeus all further sessions of Tokyo Tony Finding Love ASAP, the series, and any digital series derived from this concept of the series, a breach of agreement would, in essence, be theft. Zeus takes your behavior seriously, and as a result, if you engage in any other action violating your contractual obligations to the company under the agreements, the company will immediately terminate your right to the subscriber annuity and consider all appropriate actions, remedies available against you. Such remedies may include filing suit for immediate and permanent injunction relief, seeking monetary damages, and attorney fees. This letter is not a waiver of any rights and defenses that the company may have against you, all of which it expressly reserves, does not include a complete recitation of all facts and circumstances that may constitute a breach of your obligation to the company. Very truly yours, Gregory Chin. And then they cc the chief executive officer of the Zeus Network, LLC. <laughs> I can't do nothing but laugh at that letter. That is what she gets, okay? This is why they say all money is not good money. While she was on the Zeus Network, cooning, clowning, you know, uh, trying to demand that that old white man get on his knees and munch her damn carpet. Next. Come up, sexy. It was very intimidated because it was Tony, and it was Lyrica, and it was Black China all together. Hi, shy guy. Hi. A white boy in me? You think you can fucking handle me? Really? Let's see. Yeah. Now, I'm the bossy bitch. If I get in your face like this and say, you sit your fucking ass down now and eat my pussy. I think I'd do it. Okay, he wins. <laughs> hmm. He might be a scammer. <laughs> he looks like he might be a scammer. All that cooning and clowning that she did, she has absolutely nothing to show for it. They literally gave her money she was an influencer at best. She was never a, a worker, an employee, an executive director of Zeus. She tried to make herself seem like she was bigger than what she was. And that is the shadiest, most professional read I have ever seen. And shout out to my, and shout out to the Instagram followers who took time to read that on Instagram because, honey, we had a field day. That shit was funny as hell. So do I feel bad for Terry Akitina? Absolutely not, okay? Because remember, she's the same one who was clowning Black China, who was talking down to her daughter, saying her daughter has changed and she don't deserve her show, only to be boosted as hell when she got the spinoff. Yo, So Zeus Network wasn't good enough for your daughter and her friends when they were trying to do their own thing. But then once you got on there, all of a sudden Zeus Network is the best thing since sliced bread. Obviously this woman has all types of issues. I can't take nothing that Terry Akitina does or says. I can't take her seriously. All this is nothing but karma. With the way she behaved on the show, the way she talked to her daughter. You, you never respected me. You're a liar and you're still a liar. You're still a liar. And why you doing it? I know why. You with the Illuminati and you cut me off good. So now you're no longer my kid? Perfect. Perfect. And you chose those people before me, bitch? That's fucked up. I never did nothing to you. But guess what? You, you, you're with them. You are with them. And I know it. And guess what? You won't kill me, bitch. You won't. You are so disrespectful. Your life, sweetheart. You read that Bible. You read that Bible. You are in the biggest trouble in the world. You are in the biggest trouble in the world, sweetheart. To disrespect your mother. To have me sleeping outside. You know what? You're disgusting. You're on drugs. You're disgusting. No, baby. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You're a junkie. You're a junkie. You don't take care of your kids. You don't do shit. That's why everything blew up in her face. And now at this point, I'm sure they're going to end up terminating her because again, she's defaming the company. After she received the cease and desist letter, she goes and does an interview with Rolling Out Magazine and blasts Zeus Network again. 
So at this point, she better hope they don't come after her and sue her for whatever the hell she might have. Because Zeus is not playing with her and she obviously is not taking their legal letters seriously because she's continuing to defame them. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey, but I had to go ahead and talk about it, okay? So thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of I Don't Give a Shit News. I don't give a shit! Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and talk about this. How do you guys feel about this entire situation? Do you feel bad for Teriyaki Tina? Or do you feel like that's what she gets because of, you know, how bad she talked about the network and her daughter only to run as soon as she got an opportunity to go and, you know, join the network? And see, that's another problem. Folks want to run to shit. And they don't want to pay attention to their contract. They're so busy chasing fame and trying to be in front of the camera, they're not reading their contract. So long story short, I don't feel bad for her at all, okay? So anyways, y'all, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces.